Hi everybody and welcome to this video tutorial on the new software update of Cuico swing and sliding gate control boards. Specifically what we have here is a QK CE 220BI BAT RL4 control board for swing gate and uh, a QK CE 220RL4 control board for sliding gate. The new software update is affecting all control boards produced uh, uh, starting from uh, September 2019. You can uh, recognize if your control board has the new software update thanks to the version mentioned uh, in the user manual. So version 21 will have uh, the software update with new functions and the same for the swing gate control board. Version 21 will have the uh, software update. Even uh, if you don't have the user manual with you, you can check the version of the software. The latest one is, is uh, HB 2117 for the swing gate control board and uh, HS 2122 for the sliding. You can check that from the display of your control board. I will show you now on the uh, sliding gate control board how to detect the software that is inside. So we will switch the control board off, then we will switch it on and the display will show 21-22. Switch off, switch on, HS 21-22. This is the new software update. If you have this version, you can get benefit of all the new and modern functions that we have added. So let's start to check in detail uh, all the functions we added and we start from mentioning that uh, from now on the uh, control boards Apart from the standard user guide that is full of details and interesting information, uh, we are now supplying the control boards with a quick guide. So the quick guide basically is just uh, an A4 page, front and back, uh, with a shortcut of everything that is necessary to start the system. Um, as you can see in the quick guide, sometimes there are these uh, little book images. It means that for these functions, if you want to know uh, more details, you better refer to the full user manual. So, let's start and have a look. The first function we have added is F7, Fast Closure Delay. Thanks to this uh, function, uh, now it is possible to select the time uh, between uh, the photocell clearance and uh, the automatic closing of the gate. You know the control board is equipped with the fast closure function. It is the function that uh, uh, will close the gate automatically once for the sliding gate, uh, uh, the closing photocell has been cleared and for the um, swing gate, uh, once both the closing and the opening photocells have been cleared. From now on, you can also select the time after which the gate start closing automatically. So let's say we are passing with our car through our uh, uh, sliding gate photocell. Once we have passed uh, and after 1.5 seconds as a minimum and 5 seconds as a maximum, the gate will close automatically. This is uh, particularly interesting if you don't want to wait 
the complete time for automatic closing and you just want to be sure that once you have left your home the gate will close automatically behind you. A new interesting function we have added is uh, uh, the assistance request from cycle counter and uh, the total working cycles counter. Basically uh, L5 and L6 uh, are uh, uh, related to the same cycles counter. Thanks to L5 now you can set a threshold after which uh, uh, you can let the control board inform the end user that it is time for maintenance. Uh, let's have a look in detail to how to set F7, L5, L6. So we go through A and B push buttons of the sliding gate control board. Uh, while I search for the function, I repeat that uh, uh, the function is uh, available on both sliding and swing gate control boards. So F7, per standard it is settled at 5 seconds, so that after passing with your car through the gate, the gate will close automatically in 5 seconds and you can reduce that till 1.5 seconds. So let's see how the uh, L5 and L6 parameters for uh, assistance request cycle counter and the total working cycles counter work. We start from having a look to this uh, automation, how many cycles it did. We go to L6. We select L6 and it is showing A4. From this we understand that this automation did uh, four cycles so far. Uh, we will understand more how it works from this uh, simple diagram. The display has two digits only. It cannot show more than two digits so uh, it will show A followed by a number, B followed by a number, C followed by a number and so on till F. Uh, it means uh, uh, the automation control board can show cycles up to 999,999. In this case, if the automation is showing uh, A5, B6, C3, D1, it means the automation did 1365 cycles so far. Then we have the possibility to set by means of L5 parameter L5 we have the possibility to set the threshold after which the uh, control board will give a signal to the end user so to proceed with uh, yearly or uh, monthly or uh, um, whatever time uh, is requested for maintenance. So, we select L5 and uh, for example we, we want, starting from this example, we want that after 1000 cycles the uh, control board is giving advice. So, L5 we select D, we set it to 1 T1 will give the advice after 1000 cycles D9 for example after 9000 E1 will give the advice after 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 for example if we set it at 5 it will give the advice of request of maintenance after 50,000 cycles and so on till F9 
F9 is the very maximum which will give uh, the advice of uh, uh, assistance request after uh, 900,000 cycles. What advice is the control board giving? We can see the information in the full user manual at page 8 of 11. There is the uh, full description of what advice the uh, control board will give. When the gate has completed L5 working cycles, the display shows SL. Each 20 minutes the flashing lamp is on for 1 minute. So, after reaching the threshold, the uh, control board will activate for 1 minute out of 20 minutes the flashing lamp. The end user will then inform the installer and the installer will go for maintenance and reset the uh, cycles counter assistance request uh, where needed. Let's see uh, the other functions we have added. We then have the deadman open, deadman close is also called old to run command. So we have added all to run command that can be controlled by push button by means of terminal block number one or terminal block number seven. We have two clean contacts for giving this kind of command. For example, you might connect to terminal block number one and corresponding common the opening old to run command and to terminal block number seven and corresponding common the closing old to run command. As you can see E1 and E7 which are the functions related to terminal blocks number one and terminal blocks number seven are both equipped with uh, this new function deadman open deadman close and so on for E7 how to set them? It's very simple. We need to go to E1 Okay, E1 Per standard it is controlling the normal start impulse. If we want to transform it into a open only input we will set the parameter at PO so, we will also now try to activate the uh, control board so that uh, we will make a live example of how this uh, uh, old to run command works. Uh, we prepared uh, a little jumper here, a little uh, copper wire to uh, make the example. We go out from programming. We can even, even double check if we set it properly. So we go back to E1, make sure it is on PO. Go out again. The, co the common is number 8. and we will try to give an impulse here it is now the impulse is given and the gate opens only now automatic closing is enabled so let's disable automatic closing For a better example, we go to F0.
F0. We disable automatic closing by keeping C pressed until the display shows ST. Here it is. And we try our hold to run opening command again. From number one to number eight. Here it is. When the display is showing PO, it means the gate will open only until uh, uh, the command is given. And the same for closing. Then, as you know, uh, our control board can be connected to an electric lock. Uh, device and uh, this electric lock device is uh, um, controlled by our smart uh, QK e lock module. Now, thanks to this uh, uh, new function, you can give the command of releasing uh, the electric lock even independently from the position of the gate. So let's say that you want to press a button and release an electric lock that is installed outside the gate, on a pedestrian gate that is on a side of the gate, for example, not related to the gate where the automation is. So by pressing uh, uh, E1 or E7 related inputs push buttons. If you set E1 or E7 to EL, it will give the command to the device that is connected to the electric lock device and it will release the electric lock that is connected to that. As an example, we will go to E1, set it to EL, then we will uh, go out of programming, we will try to give a command again by means of Terminal block 1 and terminal block 8, you will see the display showing EL. In this case, we don't have the electric lock module connected, but if we have it, it will show uh, the relay will click and it will uh, send a signal to the electric lock that is connected to that. The same functions that we spoke about now that were related to wired inputs have been added also on the radio channels. As to say that now you can give by remote control even the open only command, the close only command, the electric lock control and so on. This is uh, specifically useful for example if one photocell is broken so that uh, the customer cannot close the gate normally if the photocell is broken. Thanks to this function, if, we infor if you inform the customer that uh, uh, you have programmed a specific button of the uh, remote control on the control board, so to close on old to run command even if the photocell is broken, the customer will always have the chance to open or close the gate even if safeties are not working. Of course, this is a, an, ex, an extraordinary measure um, to uh, control the gate on old to run mode. And uh, of course, after uh, the customer discovers the safeties are not working, he will have to inform his local installer for repairing 
the uh, photo cell or the safety device in general, but at least he can safely open and close the gate even if the safeties are not working. Let's see how to set these uh, uh, radio, uh, new radio functions. The new radio functions are from uh, R6 to R8, so R6, R7, R8. Before, as you know, before there were only four radio functions, one for start, one for stop, one for pedestrian start and one for fast closure. Fast closure is the one that is related to the new time that has been assigned to it now. Uh, and now you also have R6, R7, R8. Let's see how to program them. We will go in corresponding R6 function. We will press the button of the remote we want to program. So let's say the fourth button will be the old to run closing. Okay? So as you know, as per standard procedure to program a remote, you need to press the button on the remote, wait until the red dot lights up, press C button to program. So now we press, we see the number one is the first code that is been, has been programmed in this uh, control board. Now we need to inform the control board about what function to assign to uh, the um, R6 parameter. To do that, we keep the button pressed until R6 stays on and by means of C and D buttons, we select which function. So, what do we want to uh, control by means of the fourth button of the uh, remote control. Do we want to control only open function? Do we want to control only close or dead man all to run open or dead man all to run close or electric lock? Let's say we want to control the dead man all to run close so we need to set the R6 parameter to PC. Let's start from scratch and see how to do. We go to R6. While R6 is being shown, you see, while R6 is being shown, we press the button until R6 stays steady. Then by means of C and D, we select PC. By selecting PC, the fourth button of the uh, receiver, the, sorry, the fourth button of the remote control will control the closing on hold to run mode. Let's have a look. We press the fourth button. Now the motor is closing and it will close until I keep the button pressed only. So no more closing. Let me press it again. I keep it pressed and it is closing, I release, it is now not closing anymore. You can do this for the closing, the opening, and uh, you can do, for example, the third button for releasing an electric lock that is connected on a separate pedestrian gate, not the automation gate, the separate pedestrian one. Let's try to set the third button as a pedestrian um, gate electric lock opening device. So we go to R7 in this case because R6 was uh, busy with the previous function already. We go to R7, we program third button. So we press the button, we wait for the red dot to light up, we keep C button pressed and uh, we can see the button was saved. 
now we go to R7 again, we keep D, D pressed until uh, uh, R7 stays steady, we press uh, C or D until the display shows EL and from this moment the third button will give the release command to an external electric lock and the fourth button will give the closing command. I believe these functions are very, very interesting for, uh, um, you know, uh, for uh, increasing the modularity of the system. Uh, and the display report. The display report is now, of course, showing uh, uh, all the new functions when they are happening. For example, we press the electric lock and the electric lock command is being shown on the display. Uh, the same for the assistance request cycle counter. If you see uh, this um, uh, SL advice on the display, it means that it is time for a maintenance. It is set by L5 and after the threshold has been reached, uh, it will show SL. The new uh, parameter we have added as a display report is also 0T. When the control board display shows 0T, it means the board was damaged by an overvoltage. Uh, probably the logic circuit or some components were damaged by an overvoltage, but now at least you know what has caused the damage and you can explain to the customer. It's uh, almost all, it's almost all uh, for the sliding. We have uh, some new functions that were added uh, on the swing gate control board only because they are related to the uh, one or two motors functioning only. So we will see them in detail now. In the swing gate control board, we have added the single swing gate motor operation. As you know, in the past, when it was time to uh, set, yeah, here we have the quick guide of the swing gate control board. Um, in the past, when it was time to set uh, uh, a system with one motor only, you needed to go to parameters from B1 to B8 and set all of them to zero. Now you simply need to set L3 parameter to zero and no need to set B1 to B8 to zero anymore. So let's say that automatically by setting single leaf mode to on, so single leaf mode to SI, which is on in Italian, you will automatically let motor A work only. It's a quicker way to uh, operate a single leaf um, swing gate automation. Another function we have added on the swing gate control board only is the selectable pedestrian time. In the past, uh, uh, the pedestrian function was uh, uh, just related to the complete opening of one leaf only. Now, thanks to the uh, new function we have added, which is uh, uh, F1, you can select the pedestrian time. So let's say you want to open a motor for uh, three seconds only, not entirely, you will go to F1, set it to three seconds, and in this way, when you activate pedestrian function, the A motor will open for three seconds only. Per standard, 
you know the defaults area is here per standard it is set as 7 seconds another interesting function and uh, this is uh, the last one for this time is uh, the possibility to saving remotes from distance you therefore no need to uh, open the control box uh, compartment anymore if you have a pre-saved remote you will now have the chance to uh, program a new one without having to open the control box compartment the procedure is uh, safe and secure and uh, there are some uh, hidden hidden steps to be followed to uh, be able to program uh, the remote from a distance. We will see now in detail how to do. In the full user guide, specifically at page uh, 9 of 11 in the swing gate control board, but it is also available in the sliding gate control board, you have the procedure to save the remote from a distance so let's see in the full user manual the complete procedure to add a remote from a distance saving a remote from a distance you can add a remote key to the control board memory without opening the protective housing you need a remote, remote, you need a remote previously stored proceed as follows open the gate completely by giving a start impulse break the photocell beam so you need to put yourself in front of uh, the photocell uh, this is the closing photocell hold down the remote key previously stored after five seconds the flashing lamp blinks and the relay start clicking release the remote key the flashing lamp gets on and the relay stops clicking within 10 seconds press the new remote key the flashing lamp blinks three times and the relay clicks three times the remote has been saved as a start so this is the procedure to save a new remote as standard start signal uh, on uh, uh, a pre-existing automation we will uh, try to make an example now we have a single remote for this example so let's say we will program button 4 first and then we will program button 1 without having to access to the control board compartment we start from a reset of the radio uh, codes that were previously stored as you know the reset is uh, um, need to go to parameter R5 and keep uh, C button pressed until SI is uh, being shown then we now program our first button as a first remote so first button we press it we go to R1 press first button keep C button pressed so that now we have one remote control only programmed what we want to do is go out of the programming imagine our uh, uh, motor is completely closed and installed okay now the gate is completely open I'm pressing with my hand I'm pressing the limit switch the gate is completely open Okay, press the opening limit switch the photo cell is interrupted I keep I keep the first remote control pressed the relay start clicking I do it again
so let's see how to program uh, two remotes on a pre-existing automation uh, in this example we have one remote only so we will program let's say button one as a pre-existing button and then we will show you how to program button four without having to open the control board compartment of the or the motor cover or or whatever that is disturbing access to the control board we start by doing a complete reset of the radio receiver so as per the instruction we go to r5 parameter keep c button pressed until si stays steady and we make sure that by pressing the remote control nothing is happening okay uh, we will now need to simulate a photocell so we will the closing photocell we will connect uh, a copper wire let me see if I can manage to do it like this okay we will connect a copper wire to the 3 and 8 terminal blocks as per the instruction now we need to open the gate completely we need to open the gate completely we need to break the photocell beam hold down the remote that was previously stored after five seconds the flashing lamp blinks and the relay start clicking we can remove uh, we can release the remote key now the flashing lamp gets on and the relay stop clicking within 10 seconds we need to press the uh, new remote or the new button of the remote the flashing lamp will blink three times and the relay will click three times to um, state that the new code has been saved so we will now open the gate completely we program R1 first of course program R1 that's it so imagine we have one single remote and one single button that is already stored in the system we will add the fourth button without having to get access to the control board so we give an opening command now this was loading okay we will give the opening gates open completely fa is being shown which is the uh, swing gate sorry the which is the limit switch of opening advice from display we need to cover the photocell i am uh, indeed removing the photocell connection we need to press a button that is previously stored the relay will click press the other button the relay will click again and now we can operate the control board with the new button that we have stored so we need to repeat the photocell connection and the fourth button is now activating the system so thank you for being with us today and uh, watching uh, this new video tutorial about the new functions we have added we are uh, uh, releasing a new firmware almost uh, once or twice a year so if you have new functions that you would like to have on our control boards feel free to inform us and we will uh, uh, possibly start the development for them and uh, that's it hope you like and uh, let's keep in touch Bye.